march of time. Today, almost two years after the last great battles of World War II, American troops are still heading overseas as occupation forces for conquered Germany. But of America's aims in Germany, aims which may profoundly affect the future of the world, few of these soldier ambassadors of the United States have any very clear idea. You know how much money we're spending on Germany? I read the other day it costs us $200 million a year. Don't worry, we'll get it all back. They say with a few cartons of cigarettes to start with, you get rich over there in no time. Yeah, and with just a few packs of cigarettes, you can pick up any for a line in Germany. Okay, okay. But how do you like us spending all that dough on a lot of krauts? The same krauts that were shooting at us a couple of years ago. In dealing with a broken and prostrate Germany, the post-war policy of the United States seeks neither vengeance nor enrichment, but to rebuild an economic entity on which the peace and prosperity of Europe in great measure depends. Today, Hitler's erstwhile master race is living abjectly, without initiative, without dignity. Its grandiose aspirations reduced to an endless struggle for mere existence, for enough fuel to keep from freezing, for enough food to keep from starving. But while the great masses of Germany's 66 million people are paying bitterly for their day of glory under their beloved Führer, there are other Germans living as well as ever. Though prices in Germany's stores have spiraled dizzily, many are able to pay them. Those who have grown rich through dealings in the black market, as well as party members and hangers-on who fattened under the Nazi regime. The shrewder of these kept their assets in cash and their heads above water in the catastrophe that engulfed their countrymen. Living quietly but well in out-of-the-way places are the families of Nazi ringleaders, still holding something of the fortunes they enjoyed under Hitler. Contributing nothing to the German economy, this class finds ways to secure more than its rightful share of food through black marketeers, who are themselves fast becoming richer than their clients. Thank you. 